Hey Magical Sparks, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I draw faces. And yes, I made a video like this in the past, but that was more for a semi-realistic style face. This is going to be more of my art style, and by my art style I mean very cartoonish and very stylized. Okay, time to get out our tutorial book. This is literally the book I've been using to record all my tutorial videos this year, so let's keep the luck going. Now this video is going to be jam-packed, but I'm also going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Starting it off nice and easy, we're going to be focusing on hand movements and intensity. I cannot emphasize this enough, hold your pencil in whatever way is comfortable to you, but just make sure that when you're drawing, you're just a tiny bit loose. Now here is a bit of a stiff way of drawing. If you want to draw that way, and if that's your style, that is completely fine, it's so beautiful and so unique, but for me, I find that being more light helps me to kind of create variations in line intensity, and especially when I'm sketching, it kind of allows me to roughly create a base of what I want, and that way, when I go in with my final outline, I can just kind of make the drawing look a bit more finished. Now, obviously, this is just how I do it, especially when I was a beginner, it really helped me to kind of just start by sketching lightly, because that way, I didn't have to to become frustrated by like constantly erasing my mistakes so that's just something that helped me out but do whatever you find comfortable but even as like a fun thing to do when you're bored just sketching at different intensities is a really fun exercise again though just a disclaimer this is just me explaining my art style and how i go about things but in no way doesn't mean you guys have to do the exact same thing also this is something that I strongly recommend, and that is to pick the right place to hold your pencil. Now, some people can draw lightly when they hold their pencil at the top, some people can draw easily when they hold it at the bottom, or for some people, it doesn't matter where you hold it, but it's mainly wrist movements. Either way, just focus on these small things because they will ultimately help you to make your art just more looser, free, and sketchier. The next point of focus is going to be shapes. Need I say it, shapes are all around us, and honestly, when it comes down to art, if you break things down into shapes, it'll help you so much. So how I go about it is I draw a circle, then I draw a vertical line coming down, and then I draw a horizontal line going across. More on that later though. What I really want to focus on now is the shape of the jaw. You can easily create variations in the shape of the jaw, and in that way, it'll really help you to draw lots of different types of faces and different kind of face structures. And my best recommendation is that when you want to achieve different kind of face types, it's really important to play around with shapes because that can really help you to achieve a lot. Okay, so now you saw me drawing a circle, a vertical line, and a horizontal line earlier, and those are what I like to call guidelines. Now obviously sometimes I do tend to sketch faces without guidelines, especially when I'm sketching with pen, but in all honesty, I personally prefer sketching with these guidelines, and again, I'll explain more on how they work soon, because they kind of just help to provide a baseline, and they just kind of like help you to plan out where the face starts, and it's just really helpful. So now that we know a bit more about shapes and why we have guidelines, let's talk about how I structure the guidelines in my drawings. Now, a habit that I've formed for some reason is drawing a circle. That's just what I do, that's just what I like. Then I go ahead and draw a vertical line and a horizontal line at the bottom part of the circle. From there, I draw the jaw pretty much four lines and I draw the ears at the end of the jaw. So like I said before, the central line goes all the way down to the chin and the horizontal line, it kind of just stops at the end of the jaw and pretty much where the ears start. It kind of just helps me to figure out the placement of the face. So the first thing I do when I'm drawing eyes is I draw two arches to mark out where I want the eyes to go. Sometimes I draw it on the horizontal line, sometimes it's below, sometimes it's on top, but either way, it depends on the drawing that I'm going for and the style that I'm going for. Once I'm happy with that, I add in the details and sketch out my eyes. And you see the space underneath the eyes? This is typically where I like to locate the nose. Again, sometimes I tend to make it wide, I tend to make it a bit more narrow, and underneath that, we have our mouth. So this is just my usual way of going about things, but don't worry if that did go a little bit fast for you, I will kind of go ahead and break down how I draw eyes, noses, and mouths very briefly in the next part of this video. So sometimes I like to leave the sketch as a sketch, at other times I like to kind of grab my kneaded eraser and go over it and kind of make it look like a bit more of a 
finished sketch let's say okay so here is how i go about drawing eyes but let's explain it really briefly first thing i do is i draw an arch to mark out the placement of the eye once i'm happy with how both eyes are looking on the face then i go ahead and draw a line underneath it and then just kind of extend it out to draw the eyeliner and then i call that in the next steps are super duper easy we just kind of draw the bottom part of the eye then we draw our iris kind of adjust the eyeliner accordingly then i go ahead and draw the top eyelid and one once that's done, I go ahead and draw a bubble for the highlight or like the reflection part of the eye. Then I draw the pupil and add a tiny bit of shading. And sometimes I do like to make the eyeliner just a tiny bit darker. And then we have our adorable little bottom lashes and pretty top lashes which usually are quite messy but messy makes it work in this case. And that's pretty much how I go about it. And sometimes I add shading, but that just depends on my mood. And yeah, that's pretty much how I do it in simple. Next step is drawing noses. This is super, uber, duper easy. <laughs> because all I do is I pretty much draw a circle and then I draw two lines for the nostrils underneath. That's literally it. Depending on how I want the nose to look, I might make the circle a bit more bigger, smaller, wider, narrower, whatever I need. And sometimes I experiment with how I draw the nostrils and everything. Like for example, this one here, this looks a bit more kind of realistic or semi-realistic but in simple that's pretty much my process start with a circle turn it into an oval and draw the nostrils however you please and then we have a cute little button notes the next thing we're going to be drawing are mouths when it comes to my process i don't usually think about it i kind of just do it but let me try and explain so i'm going to start off by drawing three dots and connect them together then I'm going to draw kind of like a wide M shape and an upside down U at the bottom. That is one variation of the many ways that I draw mouths depending on my mood and my thought process at the time. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple more variations on the screen, but I really feel like I don't need to explain them because it's pretty clear. But anyways guys, these are just really brief explanations of how I go about drawing eyes, as noses, and mouths. But if you guys want nice full length long tutorials on these kind of things, let me know in the comments and and maybe I can make some in the future. And because it's like Halloween in a day, of course I had to include vampire teeth. Also because I know that when I post this, someone is going to ask me about drawing males and why I didn't explain that. It's pretty much because I'm still on my art journey, I'm still experimenting with my style, and overall I'm just still learning about how I draw males. I haven't figured out a complete style, but maybe when I feel more comfortable, I could make a tutorial in the future. Possibly. We'll see. So just before, I showed you guys how I draw a front view pretty much. So now let me try and explain to you guys how I go about drawing a side view. The process is similar. Not the same, but similar. So I want my character to be facing slightly towards the left. I'm going to start off with a circle, but when I draw my vertical line, I'm going to make it slightly arched. Same thing with my horizontal line. We don't want it to be straight, we want it to be slightly arched. Now the process of pretty much drawing the jaw, the chin, the ears, the eyes, everything else is pretty much the same. But something you might notice is that I kind of tended to squish up everything on the left side of the character's face. So the reason I did that is because in terms of perspective and in terms of looking at someone from that angle, typically the left side of their face would look a bit more squished, usually. But the thing is, those are just rules. I mean, you can follow it or you can just choose not to. We are artists and we make our own rules. So if you want to draw really realistic, then go ahead and do it. Today, I kind of tried doing that, but then I kind of ended up erasing the jaw and making it just a bit more wider because that's how I like my drawings. Anyways though, that's just something to consider, but otherwise everything else is pretty much the same. And because I thought, why not, let's just go ahead and draw some hair so you guys can really see what I mean when I say kind of like a side perspective. Now, I'm still learning to draw profile views, so don't ask me about that. Maybe in the future when I'm a bit more comfortable, we can have an updated tutorial. But for now, here's what we got. Anyways, now let's try and apply this to a brand new fresh drawing from scratch. So I'm going to be sharing the process with you guys. Starting off with the circle, can you see how repetitive this is? Because my process is kind of repetitive, which is kind of good. It's kind of consistent. We have the circle, the vertical line, the horizontal line. We have four mini lines, which make up the jaw and the chin. Then I kind of go ahead and outline that. 
and I sketch out the ears. And then the next step is experimenting with the placement of the eyes. And once I'm happy with that, I went ahead and made it kind of final by adding in the rest of the details and then experimenting with the placement of the nose and the mouth. Now, if you're sketching with pencil, obviously you will have the freedom to erase and I strongly suggest using it because with me, for example, I hated how the mouth and the nose were looking. So I erased it and I fixed it up and that way I just kind of managed to fix my mistakes. And that's pretty much what pencil are used for. Don't feel like you have to get things perfect in the first shot. Sometimes some of us when we're making videos and stuff we kind of cut out the scenes where we're erasing. For me personally I cut those scenes out because my table kind of shakes a bit which doesn't look that nice on camera but behind the scenes there is usually erasing and I just want to say that is completely normal so let's normalize making mistakes in both art and life as well as learning from them. But anyways, now I'm just doing the final outline because I feel like it. Also, how are you guys doing? I haven't uploaded a long video in ages. Well, it feels like ages to me. So I'm really excited to get back into it again. Also, if you have managed to make it this far, make sure to comment this emoji down below. And if you're someone who's interested in a bit more of a semi-realistic style face drawing tutorial, I'll have my other tutorial linked down below in the description. I would really, really appreciate it if you could check it out. And thank you so much in advance. All in all though, I really did enjoy making this tutorial because it kind of just helped me to learn more about myself and how I draw. And hopefully it kind of maybe helped at least one or two of you guys out as well so here's how the final face turned out i think it looks pretty cute and it's pretty similar to how my normal drawings look even though my art style changes all the time anyways guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye